In this video we're going to have a look at the egg cell. So this is one of the human gametes, one of the human sex cells, and it is also a haploid cell. So remember we have haploid cells and we have diploid cells. Haploid cells mean that they have half the number of chromosomes, so in this case they have 23 single chromosomes as a human. A diploid cell has double the amount of chromosomes, so this is either 23 pairs or 46 single chromosomes in humans. The scientific name for an egg cell is an ovum. And they are formed in the process called oogenesis, which happens inside of a female's ovaries. And this is a process that we will go through in a separate video later on. So with the egg cell, what you need to be able to do is annotate a picture of the cell, or you need to be able to identify the different parts of it in a, in a different way. You do not need to be able to draw this out. So we're going to annotate this picture that I have already drawn here of the egg cell. With this cell, they are large and non-motile cells, which means that they aren't really very able to move. And in terms of contributions to a zygote, what they contribute is all of the organelles inside and the cytoplasm as well. So with the egg cell, they are surrounded by two separate layers. This layer here is called the zona pellucida. And this is a layer of glycoproteins, or you might see it as labelled as a jelly coat. This acts as a barrier to sperm. And then the second layer is these bunch of cells around the outside, which are called the corona radiata. And this is made of a number of different follicular cells. These are there to provide support and nourishment for the egg cell. Inside of the egg cell, we have the cytoplasm, which is the same as in all other body cells. We also have a haploid nucleus. So again, that is 23 single chromosomes in a human. And specifically with the egg cell, this contains all of the maternal DNA. So everything coming from the mother that will be given to the zygote. Then these little dots here, these are called cortical granules and they are there to prevent this thing called polyspermy which is another thing we will go through in a later video but it just means that it only allows one sperm to fertilize the egg during fertilization 